Hi kids, Miss Booksy here with a fairy tale exclusive. Today we're doing a palace tour with Aladdin, and after that you can re-watch all eight chapters of Aladdin's adventures back to back. Let's go! Hi, Aladdin here, and welcome to my palace! <laughs> Come on inside! <laughs> if you watched my story, then you've already seen some of my palace, but now I'm going to give you the grand tour. First up, here's what I like to call the fun room. This is where Rami and I and the genies like to hang out. It's got video games, lightsabers, and a ball pit. Okay, next check out the kitchen. I know, I know. That sounds boring compared to the fun room, but this is no normal kitchen. We have a multi-flavored ice cream machine, a pizza oven, and a giant waffle maker. I mean, what's better than a waffle? Answer, a giant waffle! Don't worry, we get plenty of exercise too. Check out the gym. There's a rock wall, a dance studio, and no home gym is complete without a trampoline. Oh, oh, I'm okay. <laughs> and last but not least, let's see the backyard. When I made a wish to be a queen with a palace, the genie totally could have given me like a basic castle, stone walls, moat, etc. <laughs> but the lamp genie totally hooked it up. I mean, look at this. There's a giant pool shaped like the car, a roller coaster, ah! and a water slide. Well, that's my palace tour. I hope you had fun. Come back soon. Wow, I think I need to remodel my house. <laughs> Hit like if you want a roller coaster and an ice cream machine at your house too. And now, let's re-watch all of Aladdin's adventures from chapter one all the way to the end. Let's go. And here's where her story begins. You were expecting a boy, right? <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> now, let's get on with the story. Aladdin lived with her mom in a teeny tiny house in the middle of a bustling city. Aladdin and her mom didn't have much, but they were crafty and made do with what they had, right? Who needs money when you've got all this? All what? See, I'm sort of an antique stealer. I sell fine wares and collectibles to the upper echelons of society. You sell junk. Okay, well, some might call it junk, but one man's trash is another man's treasure, right? <laughs> and on that note, time to go sell some junk. Super fine collectibles and treasures here. Come and get your super fine treasures. What's that, a broken clock? Yes, sir, and who wouldn't want the power to stop time? What am I supposed to do with one shoe? Uh, go find Cinderella. <laughs> Aladdin stuck around, but nobody was buying. She was just about to give up when a mysterious man approached her. Excuse me, young man. <clears throat> er, young lady. What can I do for you? I can't help but notice you have some mighty nice things for sale. <laughs> Finally, someone with some taste. What if I told you I know where you could find some treasure? I'm listening. And it's free for the taking. All you have to do is go get it. Okay, I could be described as a go-getter, but what's the catch? There's a lamp. I want you to bring that to me. But the rest of the treasure is mine? <gasps> Everything else is yours. Hmm, let me think it over. Okay, you got yourself a deal, mister. <laughs> Please, call me Mustafa. So the mysterious Mustafa had told Aladdin where to go for the treasure. Awesome, right? Free treasure. But then Aladdin got to where it was hidden. Not so awesome. I have to go in there? Okay, you can do this, Aladdin. You got this. Uh, it's dark and it's stinky. I officially do not like caves, but eyes on the prize, Aladdin. Get that treasure, girl. Oh, ow! Oh, no big deal, just a little scrape. Wait, what's that sound? Sounds like a, oh, a giant bowling ball. No! Okay, that's not normal. This might be harder than I thought, but I gotta get that treasure. See, not so bad. It's just dark and scary and possibly booby trapped. Uh, no big deal. Hey, what's that? A ring, awesome, shiny. <gasps> I must be close to the rest of the treasure. <gasps> Wait, what's that? Uh, uh, dynamite! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna have to jump. 
I made it! Woohoo! And look! Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow! Cool! Oh, hey, oh no. Got another booby trap! Oh, 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 oh. No, no, now I'll never get out. It's too wide. I can't jump across that. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this cave forever. I can't believe I'm gonna perish in a stinking cave. A lot of good this treasure's gonna do me in here. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, who are you? Who are you? I'm the genie of the ring. What? The genie of the ring. It's simple. You found the ring, you rubbed it, and then poof, here I am. Oh, so what now? Don't you know anything about genies? You get a wish. A wish? Oh, wow, okay, let's see. If I could have anything in the whole world. Well, not anything. Like, you can't wish for more wishes. Oh. And I can't turn you into a princess or anything cool like that. Really? I thought genies were supposed to grant, like, any wish I wanted. Oh, so now you're a genie expert? No, I guess I'm just a little disappointed. Look, I'm just a ring genie. A ring genie is not on the same level as like a wizard or a genie in a bottle or a magic lamp genie. Those guys are the best. Oh, could I wish for a magic lamp genie? No. Oh, well, okay. A basic wish then. Just a minute ago, you were crying that you'd never get out of this cave. Oh? So maybe that's a good wish? Oh, you're right. Okay, I wish I could get out of this cave. Wish granted. That's it? Well, now you can get to the other side. I thought it would be more of a poof, I'm outside kind of a thing. Nope, sorry. I'm just a ring, ring ge genie. I know. Well, thanks anyways. You're welcome. My work here is done. Oh, well, that was brief. Okay, I'll just gather up this treasure and go. So Aladdin took her treasures and made her way out of the cave. This time she was very careful not to set off any booby traps. I'm out, <laughs> yay. <laughs> Aladdin skipped all the way home, excited for all the treasures she had found. There were gold coins, jewels, and of course the antique lamp. It's late, I'll just go to sleep and tomorrow I'll find Mustafa. Aladdin slept deeply and peacefully that night. It had been a long day, but when she woke the next morning, she found all her treasure was gone. Oh no! Oh, there it is. Oh, phew, I thought it was gone. Where did you get all this stuff, young lady? I promise it's legit. I made a deal with this mysterious guy at the market. Okay, I realize how shady that sounds. Anyway, he told me where to find all this treasure, and he said that I could have it all except for this one lamp. <laughs> he wants that, family heirloom or something. I don't know. This old thing, it's all smudged up and dirty. I can fix that. There, just like new. Ta-da! Oh. Wow, another genie, just like the one from the ring. Excuse me, I am not a ring genie. I'm a magic lamp genie. Big difference. Oh, I know. You grant the most magical wishes. Is she gonna be okay, by the way? Oh, yeah, she faints whenever she's surprised. I see. Now, what will be your first wish? Well, I don't know. See, the lamp belongs to someone else, so I guess he should get the wishes, right? Mustafa and I had a deal. Whoa, slow down. Did you say Mustafa? Yes, the lamp you popped out of belongs to him. No, 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 no. That simply will not do. Why? Mustafa is a bad guy, a villain, a nayer do well, a big old meanie. He's evil. He seemed nice enough. Nope, wrong. I cannot permit you to turn over this lamp or me to that guy. Well,. Then I'd better wish to go far, far away because he's gonna come looking for me. Yes, but don't be hasty. Think hard about your wishes. You only get three. Three wishes. Okay. What's the thing you want more than anything in the world? Riches? Power? A super cool unicorn for a pet? Hmm. Hello. I've come for my lamp. You better wish for something fast. Oh, okay. I wish... I wish, I wish. Aladdin was thinking hard about her wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. 
Come on, kid. I'm thinking. Hello, let me in. We had a deal. Hurry. Okay, I got it. I wish that I were a queen with a palace and a crown and everything. You sure? Yeah. All righty. Um, hello. Now is not really a good time for a nap. I'm granting the wish. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Let me in. Oh, do hurry though. And how? Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! You did it! Of course I did. I'm a magical lamp genie. Mustafa will never find us in here. Yay! Wait. Am I really a queen? You're wearing a crown, aren't you? <laughs> I am. Cool. Hey, you didn't change the rest of my outfit. You didn't ask, but don't worry. You're a queen now. You can order the finest clothes in all the land. Awesome. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to take a nap before your next wish. Granting wishes is hard work. Okay. See ya. Huh? Where are we? Hey, Mom. Long story. So boys and girls, in just a matter of minutes, Aladdin went from being a poor peddler to being a rich and powerful queen. Pretty much anything she wanted, she could have. Yep, turns out being a queen is kind of like having your wishes granted all day long. Watch this. Ice cream, please. Pizza, please. Puppies, please. Yay, an ice cream pizza puppy party. Of course, being a queen wasn't all fun and games. It was an important job. Queen Aladdin did her best to be a good and fair queen, making sure everyone in her queendom was happy and carefree. I hereby decree that today and every Tuesday hereafter will be Taco Tuesday. That's right, all you can eat tacos all day long. And free puppies for everyone. <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs. Well, then you shall have a kitten. Yay! All, All hail, hail the, the queen. queen! All hail the queen! All Word of her popularity queen. soon All spread. All hail the queen! Well, well, well. Queen Aladdin, huh? Oh no, kids. Mustafa was on to Aladdin. Not to worry, though. Royal palaces always have high security. I need to speak to Aladdin. Don't you mean Queen Aladdin? Believe me, she is no queen. Show some respect. Aladdin is a common thief who stole something from me and I want it back. Queen Aladdin would never do anything bad. Yes, you hush up and go away. I won't give up so easily. See? But first, he would need a plan. Mustafa wanted to get into the palace to seal the magic lamp, but the guards wouldn't let him in. Someone else would have to go in undercover, but who? Hello, young man. How is business today? Oh, not good at all. I haven't sold a single thing all day. What if I told you I had a job for you? I can pay good money. I'm listening. Mustafa explained his plan to get the lamp from Aladdin. First, I dress you up in rich clothes. Then, I send you to Queen Aladdin's palace. You pretend to be a dashing prince. You woo Aladdin, yada yada yada, and yoink! You steal the magic lamp. But, but why do you want the lamp? Because it's mine, I want it back, and it's none of your business. Oh, okay. But whatever you do, don't rub it. Huh? It's very valuable, and it must be in perfect condition. Now stop asking me questions. Do we have a deal or not? Deal. So the next day, the peddler showed up to Aladdin's palace wearing his new princely clothes. He cleaned up pretty nice. So good, in fact, that the guards didn't suspect a thing. Hello, I'm Prince Rami. Uh, I'm here to see the queen. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Right this way. Your majesty. What's up? Are you here to discuss the cupcake party this weekend? Ooh, what's that? Oh, we're having this party where we're going to decorate the world's largest cupcake. <laughs> Wouldn't a big cupcake just be a regular cake? Hmm, I guess you're right. <laughs> Either way you look at it, it's going to be a lot of fun and really delicious. Sounds like it, but that isn't why I'm here. No? I came to offer my hand in courtship. Huh? That's fancy prince talk. I'd like to take you out on a date. A date? Hmm, I've never been on a date before, but I guess it makes sense. 
I'm royalty, you're royalty, and sure. How about you escort me to the cupcake party? Perfect, it's a date. Cool, see you then. Wow, a date, huh, I wonder what that's all about. Aladdin decided she needed some advice. hey -o! what's up? You need a wish? More like advice. I have a date this weekend. Ooh, a date? How exciting. Somebody cute? Yeah, and he's a prince, so I need to know everything there is to know about romance. Hmm, well, I've never been on a date because, you know, I live in a lamp. Oh, right. But I do read a lot. Let's see, what would Cinderella do? She got a new dress from her fairy godmother and went to a ball. Okay, let's get a new outfit. Two shoes, though. How are your dance moves? Uh, okay, sure. Now let's see. What about Sleeping Beauty? What worked for her? Well, she just took a long nap and a prince showed up. Right. Okay, so what about Belle? How did she find romance? She moved into a castle with a beast and they fell in love. Okay, weird. You know what? I think just be yourself and everything will work out. That's it? Or you can wish that it goes well and you get married and live happily ever after. Yeah, why don't we see how the first date goes and we'll just go from there. Good thinking. Meanwhile, Rami was getting some advice of his own. Bring flowers, tell her she looks nice, and ask her to dance. I'm a really good dancer, watch this. Uh, okay, anyway, while she's busy dancing, you sneak away and go find the lamp. Uh, and then you'll pay me? More money than you've ever seen. Awesome! Rami ran home, super excited to tell his family about his deal with Mustafa. They had fallen on hard times and money was scarce, but the lamp heist would change everything. Rami dreamed about all the stuff he could buy, but then he thought about Aladdin. He didn't want to steal from her. Stealing was wrong. But Mustafa did say the lamp was actually his, so maybe Aladdin stole it from him. But she didn't look like a thief. She looked nice. Rami didn't know what to think. He finally fell asleep and dreamed about nice things like giant cupcakes and dancing with Aladdin. And back at the palace, Aladdin was dreaming about dancing with Rami. The day of the cupcake party finally arrived, and Aladdin could not have been more excited. Hair, check. Outfit, check. Dance moves, check. Oh, Jeannie, this party is going to be a maze. Jeannie? Guess he went back to sleep in his lamp. You're gonna miss out on an awesome party, dude. Oh well, more giant cupcake for me. <laughs> um, sleep through a party? I don't think so, queen. Let's raise the roof. And uh, no one really says that anymore. Oh, <laughs> uh, they don't? Well, cut me some slack. I know, I know. Hashtag lamp life. We look good. Party time. So yeah, Aladdin and Genie were pretty jazzed about the party. Rami was less excited. Well, he was excited to see Aladdin and excited to eat a giant cupcake, but he was not so excited about having to steal a lamp. Well, not steal. Return it to its rightful owner. That is, if Mustafa's telling me the truth. But how do I know I can trust him? Aladdin seems so nice. Okay, get it together. Deep breath, Rami. Relax. Hey. <laughs> Hi. So... Um... I want to check out the flowers. <laughs> Sweet. What? Thank you for the flowers. Let's go check out the cupcake. Whoa, it's so big. Told ya, we're making the biggest cupcake in the history of cupcakes. <laughs> Are you going to drink the world's largest glass of milk to wash it down? Ooh, that's a good idea. I like the way you think. Aladdin and Rami talked and danced and of course ate like a gajillion bites of giant cupcake throughout the night. They were having such a good time that Rami forgot all about his mission to take the magic lamp. Mustafa, on the other hand, had not forgotten. So I said to the baker, what do you mean you don't have giant sprinkles? You can't have a giant cupcake without giant sprinkles. I mean, it's cupcakes 101. Huh? Do you have something for me? A uh, cupcake? The lamp. Where is my lamp? I haven't been able to break away yet. Well, how about now? I guess... Mommy, there you 
are. Drat! I have to hide before she sees me. Now go get that lamp. Hey, who are you talking to? No one. Just some guy who thought he knew me. Well, it's time for the limbo contest. You in? Definitely. How low can you go? How low can you go? Okay, now where would I be if I were a magic lamp? Is that it? Nah, it doesn't look magical. But then again, what do I know about magic lamps? Rami, what are you doing in here? I got lost. Your house is so big. Right? I get lost in here all the time. <laughs> Come back outside because we're about to light the giant cupcake candles. Spoiler alert, they're actually fireworks. <laughs> do you like fireworks? I love fireworks. Rami decided to give up looking for the lamp and follow the Aladdin outside. Right? <laughs> yeah! Do you do stuff like this at your palace? My what? You're, you're a prince, right? Don't you live in a palace? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, we do stuff like this all the time. Oops, Rami had almost forgotten that he was supposed to be a prince. It was hard work pretending to be something that you're not. Little did Rami know that Aladdin was playing pretend too. But neither of them had to pretend to be having a good time. That part came naturally. They even agreed to hang out again on the very next day. Aladdin was so excited, she ran to find the genie to tell him everything. <laughs> hey, genie! It's gone! What's gone? The lamp! So, uh, basically my house and my entire identity! It's gone! Oh, gone! What? The lamp genie was very upset, as you can see. This is unprecedented. I don't know what the rules are with this sort of thing. I don't even know if I'm still a magic genie without my lamp. Aladdin, wish something to test my powers. But then I'd waste a perfectly good wish. Oh, forget it. It's no use. I don't feel magical anymore. Hi guys, it's me, Miss Booksy, and welcome back to Cool School. Have you been watching me and Aladdin? So many of you asked us to do that story, so of course we wanted to. There are more chapters coming soon, but first, I wanted to jump in and give you a little behind the scenes of Aladdin's top five tips for making wishes. Just in case you find yourself in the company of a genie and need to make a magic wish, <laughs> follow these tips. Okay, so as you guys know, I've only made one wish so far in my story. Hint, hint, more to come. <laughs> So I'm no expert, but here's what I think so far. Tip number five, make sure you are super clear with the genie. You really don't want to wish for one thing and get something completely different. I wish for something really soft and cozy for me to sleep with every night. Oh, absolutely. You must always be warm and cuddly when you are going night night. Ah, not quite what I had in mind. Tip for making wishes number four, make one of your wishes something really yummy. I wish for a giant chocolate chip cookie with chocolate fudge icing and a whipped cream swirl with sprinkles and gummy bears and a drizzle of peanut butter and a little dusting of marshmallows and candy cane. Whoa, yummy. Tip number three, if you feel like being a really good friend, you could always share one of your wishes with someone else. It's really nice to share. And you know what they say, sharing is caring. Mom, you're like the best, and I know you've been really, really, really wanting that one thing, so you can have one of my wishes. Wow, well, okay then. I wish. Thanks so much, Aladdin. You're the best. Tip number two for making great wishes. Take your time choosing what your wishes are. You don't want to just shout them all out there and regret your decisions. Okay, I wish for a stick, a rock, and a pencil. Oh man, what did I do? This stuff is lame-o. I should have taken more time. Why? Why? Okay, and finally, my tip number one for making wishes, always, 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 at least try to ask for more wishes. I wish for another wish. I told you, you can't do that. Okay. How about now? No. Now? Nah. Another wishy wish? Uh uh uh. More wishy wish wishes? Uh uh. So I guess that's a no. Yeah. Yes? You mean, yeah? Like, more wishes? Mmm. Ah! Oh boy. <laughs> so there you have Aladdin's top five tips for making wishes. It's gone. What's gone? The lamp. So, uh, basically my house and my entire identity. It's gone. Oh, gone. What? The lamp genie was very upset, as you can see. 
This is unprecedented. I don't know what the rules are with this sort of thing. I don't even know if I'm still a magic genie without my lamp. Aladdin, wish something to test my powers. But then I'd waste a perfectly good wish. Oh, forget it. It's no use. I don't feel magical anymore. Look, I can barely even fly around. Why don't we ask the ring genie? The ring genie? Ring genies don't know nothing. Hi there. Ooh, nice digs. Oh, great. Lamp genie's here. I guess I'm not needed. Actually, Lamp genie lost his lamp. Don't tell him that! You don't say! Well, well, well. Lamp Genie's not so big and powerful without his lamp, huh? Gosh, I didn't realize there was such a rivalry between the genies. I told you not to bring the Ring Genie into this! Hey, I'm only trying to help. Ring Genie, can you help us get back the lamp? You already used your wish. Remember? I can only grant one. <laughs> one wish. That's all you've granted me so far. Well, there are extenuating circumstances. There he goes, showing off with his big words. Typical magic lamp genie. Okay, guys, that's enough bickering. He started it. Zip it. Okay, lamp genie, are we 100% sure it's gone? I looked everywhere. Someone stole it. <gasps> Probably Mustafa. A, Mustafa doesn't know where we are. And B, I never would have invited him to the cupcake party. He wouldn't get past security. Aw, you had a cupcake party and didn't invite me? Was it fun? So fun. We made a giant cupcake. <laughs> Aw, that sounds awesome. Forget about the cupcake. I need my lamp. Hey, you got the lamp. Yes, I had to take matters into my own hands, Rami. Now the lamp is back with its rightful owner, me. So I guess you're not going to pay me now, huh? Definitely not. Oh, but before you go, watch this. This is going to blow your mind. Remember when I said not to rub the lamp? Well, that's because it's a magic lamp. And when you rub it three times, a genie pops out. I said a genie pops out. Is this thing on? Well, uh, I'm just gonna go. Uh-uh-uh, no you don't. Give me back those prince clothes. Here, you can wear this home. World's best grandma? Rami was sad. He didn't even have any money to bring back to his family, and he didn't have his fancy clothes. He was supposed to hang out with Aladdin the very next day. Aladdin will never believe I'm a prince now. So, the next day, Rami didn't show up for their date. Aladdin didn't know what to think. She went to tell the genie all about it. He would know what to do. But when she found the genie, she saw he was even sadder than she was. <sighs> genie, genie, are you okay? I need my lamp, Aladdin. What's a genie without his magic lamp? We'll get the lamp back, I promise. How? We don't know where it is. We don't know who took it. It's hopeless. <laughs> Cry? Uh, why don't we try a new lamp? How about this lamp over there? It's nice. Is it a magic lamp? No, but it's shaped like a monkey, and that's fun, right? <laughs> I need my lamp, Aladdin. I'm a magic lamp genie, not a monkey lamp genie. Well, I'm sad too. I was supposed to have a date with Rami, and he never showed up. I thought we really hit it off. That's it. He's the one who stole my lamp. Prince Rami? No way. Think about it, Aladdin. You never heard of that guy before, and he just shows up and then disappears. You know what also disappeared? My lamp. But he seems so nice. We have to find him. Let's go. But Aladdin and the lamp genie weren't the only ones looking for Rami. Mustafa had decided he'd need the fake prince's help one more time. Listen, kid, I need your help. There's a genie that's supposed to be in this lamp. I think he's hiding at Aladdin's palace, and you're going to go in and get him for me. Rami wasn't so sure about Mustafa's plan. But I can't go back to the palace. Aladdin and I were supposed to have a date and I didn't show up. She's probably mad at me. Well, just bring her flowers and say you're sorry. I don't know. 
Rami thought about it. He did want to see Aladdin again, but he didn't want to kidnap a genie. Finally, he agreed to go. Rami changed back into the prince outfit and was just about to leave when he overheard something interesting. Then when Rami brings me the genie, I'll wish to become king of the whole world. I'll be the evilest king in history. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, I better work on my evil laugh. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Oh no. Rami hightailed it to Aladdin's palace. That means he ran really fast. But when he got there, the guards were not so welcoming. Hi, I'm Prince Rami, here to see Aladdin. Queen Aladdin has put you on the no list. What's that? If you ask to come in, we say no. Oh, can you tell her I'm really sorry about yesterday? No. Well, can you just tell her that Mustafa is trying to steal the genie? He wants to use his magic to become the evilest king of the whole world. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Are you the magic genie? Cool. Yeah, but excuse moi did you say Mustafa wants to use me to become an evil king bent on world domination? Yeah! Come with me! Inside the palace, the genie grilled Rami. How can I trust you? You're the one who stole my lamp, right? I was supposed to, but I didn't. Mustafa did. So, you're friends with Mustafa, is that it? No, he just offered me money. For my family. But you don't need the money. You're a rich prince. Actually, I'm not really a prince. You're a liar, liar, pants on fire too, huh? No, I mean, I guess that was a lie. Yes, but I really like Aladdin, and I just want to tell her the truth. I'm listening. Aladdin! Rami, you hurt my feelings when you didn't show up yesterday. Aladdin, I wanted to, but I didn't want you to know I'm not really a prince. I thought you wouldn't like me. You look like a real prince. All right. Mustafa gave me these clothes. I'm really just a poor peddler. Well, you never should have lied. Just be yourself. That's easy for you. You're a beautiful queen. Beautiful? <laughs> Aw, thanks. <laughs> but Rami, I'm not a real queen. What? I made a wish on the magic lamp. I'm really just like you. You are? Yeah, and I still want to go on that date. <laughs> I mean, if you want to. <laughs> of course I do. I think you're the best. How romantic. Hello, what about Mustafa? He wants to capture me and use my magic to take over the world. All right. We need a plan. Wait, I got it. We can use the ring genie. Why? Trust me. Meanwhile, Mustafa was getting impatient. Where is Rami? He should be back by now. He paced around, getting angrier and angrier uh, by the minute. That's it. I'm going to find that genie myself. But when he went to open the door, Rami burst in. I got him, Mustafa. I got the genie. And the fun begins. Bring him here. Let's put him back in the lamp. Come in, genie. I'm here. The genie of the magic lamp. Now, who has a wish? Mustafa was so excited that the magic lamp genie was finally there to grant his wishes. Well, it was actually the ring genie, but he didn't know that. How many wishes do I get? Three? Can I wish for more wishes? Only three. Choose wisely. Okay, I wish to be king of the world. Well, that was fast. Okay. Alakazam, pow! Wish granted. I'm the king of the world. <laughs> now, you may have noticed that your house didn't turn into a palace. Yeah. What's up with that? You didn't wish for a palace. I didn't know I had to be so specific. Okay, I wish for... No, 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 no. Don't waste a wish on something you can just take. You're an evil king, remember? Let's go take Queen Aladdin's castle. Ooh, yeah. And then after I take her castle, I'll lock her up in a dungeon forever. At this point, kids, you might be frightened for Aladdin. I mean, Mustafa said he was going to take the palace and lock her in a dungeon. But I have a feeling this is all part of Aladdin's plan. Let's keep reading and see. Mustafa and the Ring Genie went to Aladdin's castle. Move. Oh, there you are. Hello, Aladdin. Oh, no. It's Big Bad Mustafa. That's right. I'm the king of this castle now, and you're getting locked in a dungeon forever. <laughs> Oh no, not a dungeon. Yeah, a dark, stinky dungeon. Come with me. Oh, wait, where is your dungeon? In the basement? Or maybe out back near an alligator-filled moat? Oh, this place doesn't actually have a dungeon. Rookie mistake, I guess. Pathetic. But I guess you could just, like, lock me in a room and we'll call it a dungeon? Fine. And 
just as Mustafa thought he was about to lock away Aladdin forever and ever, the real lamp genie popped out. Who are you? I'm the genie of the magic lamp. No, you're not. That's the genie. That's the ring genie. He's basically powerless. Like, zero magic. Hey, I thought you'd trick Mustafa. That's right. Be nice. But I'm the evil king of the world. He granted my wish. Look, I have a crown and everything. I bought that at a costume shop. You're not the king of anything, Mustafa. And now you're going to stay locked up in this room until you learn your lesson. Rami, let's go. What is he doing here? I'm here for my date with Aladdin. He's not a real prince, you know. He's a common ragamuffin. I know, so am I. Toodaloo, Mustafa. And so Aladdin and Rami left Mustafa behind and went out for some ice cream. Ring Genie and Lamp Genie went along too to celebrate the victory over Mustafa and to try ice cream, which being genies they never had before. Whoa, this stuff is delicious. <laughs> right? <laughs> Guess you miss out on a lot when you live in a lamp. <laughs> now I can't believe people don't just wish for ice cream, like all the time. Hey, Aladdin, why didn't you just make a wish to beat Mustafa? And waste a perfectly good wish on him? No way! Well, what are you gonna wish for? More ice cream! I don't know. I feel like I already have everything I could want. And if I use all my wishes, then we won't get to hang out anymore, right? That's true. I would go back in my lamp and wait for my next wisher. And then I'd miss you. I'd miss you too, all of you. Even Ring Genie. Maybe. Aw, so sweet. Okay, so that settles it. No more wishing for a very, very, very long time. Cool. Oh, wait, actually there is something. Remember when you mentioned wishing for a unicorn? I think I'd like to use my second wish for a unicorn, <laughs> but then no more wishing. You sure? Yes, I officially wish for a beautiful unicorn with rainbow hair that I can brush and braid and oh, she should have wings so I can fly around with her. I think that's technically a pegacorn or an alicorn. Whatever. Okay, wish granted. Yay, okay, unicorn time. Whoa. It was a happy day for Aladdin and the gang and more happy days followed. Aladdin and Rami got married. And here are the rings. I now pronounce you married. The end. Well, that was a happy ending. <laughs> But is it really the end? Aladdin does have one more wish. Hi kids, welcome to story time with me, Miss Booksy. What story should we read today? Hmm, let's spin the magic wheel. Alice in Wonderland. Wiggle, snap, story time, let's go. And this is story time. Today we're reading Alice in Wonderland. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Oh, I'm Alice. Hi. So I was here trying my best not to be so bored, even though there was nothing to do but stare into space like this. When I noticed a little white rabbit. This was no ordinary rabbit. He was wearing a suit and glasses and he was talking to himself. <laughs> it seems like he was late. A talking rabbit who could tell time? This wasn't boring at all. He rushed right past me saying, Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be late, oh dear. Well, this was just too curious. I must follow the white rabbit. Wow, this is so fun. He slipped into a rabbit hole. So I did too. Whoa, but this was no ordinary rabbit hole. Ah, wait, I'm not really falling. I'm more like floating, like a feather. Cool. <laughs> wait, where am I? Whoa, did I fall all the way through the earth? Maybe I'm in Australia. Good thing they speak English there. <laughs> hmm. A small key. 
But this key is way too small for any of these doors. Well, what do you know? There's a teensy door. Wow, that is amazing. Too bad this door's so small. I don't even think I could get my head through. And if I could, what good would my head be without the rest of me? <sighs> hey, that wasn't there before. It says, drink me. Hmm, I know I'm not supposed to just drink things willy-nilly. What if it's poison? Or what if it's something just weird, like cauliflower juice? <laughs> hmm, it says here, definitely not poison and most certainly not cauliflower juice. Well, that's odd. Okay, I'll try just a sip. Mmm, delicious! It tastes like everything I like. Cherry pie, ice cream, pineapples, roast turkey, French toast, mmm, pancakes, mmm. Oh, hey, hey, what's happening? Uh oh oh, I wonder if I shouldn't have tried that juice! How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Well, this is totally weird. But hey, now I can go into that garden. Oh no, the key is all the way up there at the table. That's as high as the Empire State Building now. Whoa! Oh, there's a giant cookie. Well, if the drink made me smaller, maybe the cookie will make me bigger. Food does make you grow. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Hmm, nothing. Oh, oh, wait, I think. Whoa! Well, this is not what I had in mind. Now I'm so big that I'm stuck. But it's good to know cookies are nutritious. Oh dear, I'm incredibly late. The queen simply will not tolerate this. Oh dear. Please, Mr. Rabbit, I'm stuck. I can't help you now. Didn't you hear me? I'm terribly late. But, but what if I'm stuck up here forever? It's really hot in here and I don't like being a giant. <laughs> Stop crying. You'll get all wet and ruin this new suit. I'm sorry, but this is just really uncomfortable. That's so sad. Ah, well, I'm leaving. Well, that's better at least. Wait, wait a second. I'm shrinking. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, oh no. Well, this isn't good. Ooh, interesting. Let's read another story. Come on. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Oh, luckily, I'm a very good swimmer. <laughs> I took lessons at camp. <laughs> oh, look, there's a friendly looking mouse. Yoo-hoo, mousey. <laughs> Mr. Mouse, do you know how to get to the beautiful garden with the Ferris wheel and the merry-go-round? Come on, follow me. Okay. <laughs> Soon we were joined by all sorts of small animals. A gang of baby ducks, a salamander, two frogs, and a hamster named Philip. <laughs> we swam and swam and swam, going right under the door and into the garden. And downstream, past flowers and crickets, caterpillars, and garden gnomes. That's so magical. When we finally got to dry land, I thought we would go play, or at least find a snack. <laughs> but the animals said they had to have an election. But they couldn't decide what they were voting on, and it got quite noisy. Oh look, there's the white rabbit. He was the one who led me down the rabbit hole, so he must know the way out. I chased after him, but I was too small for him to notice me. Oh, if only there was some more growing potion. And poof, just like magic, there was a little bottle right in my path. And it had a label on it that said, drink me, Alice. So I took a sip. Wow, nothing makes sense in Wonderland. And I grew. <laughs> What a relief! Oh, I'm me again. Not a great big giant and not a teeny tiny mouse. Oh, 
speaking of a tiny mouse, all of the small animals saw me suddenly grow larger, and boy, did that scare them. They all scattered away, shrieking. Girlzilla! She's a giant! Sorry. Where's that darn rabbit this time? I'm looking for a rabbit. Are you looking for something? I found myself face to face with a giant caterpillar. Wait, did I shrink again? You don't look shrunken to me. But why are you so large? And how did you learn to talk? That's a silly question. Are you silly? I don't think so. Well then, let's hear a poem. Excuse me? I'd like to hear a poem. One that rhymes, please. Um, okay, well, I never heard of a caterpillar who likes poetry, but here goes. <clears throat> this one is called The Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The knave of hearts, he stole those tarts and took them clean away. The king of hearts called for the tarts and beat the knave full sore. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts and vowed he'd steal no more. OMG. I love it. How dare you accuse the knave of stealing the queen's tart? Don't you know the queen will stay off with his head? It's only a made-up poem. The queen of hearts isn't real. Shh! Of course the queen is real. And if she hears you say she isn't, she'll say off with your head. Oh no, but I like my head. It helps me think things and see things and smell things. And it has my hair on it. I really like my hair. <laughs> You're a traitor to the queen. Oh, this is a terrible misunderstanding. I, I, I wish I could shrink down so super tiny that I could just escape. Here, eat this. I gobbled up the cookie that he gave me and... Oh no, I grew taller and taller and taller and I was very gigantic. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Hey, I want to be small so I could just hide from the queen. You made me even bigger. And you've turned rainbow colored. So you're very easy to spot. Oh, you caterpillar. I ought to step on you. That would be a crime. And the queen would say... Off with her head. Yeah, yeah. I heard you the first time. Oh, how puzzling all these changes are. I'm never sure what I'm going to be from one minute to another. I've got to get back to looking like myself again, and I must get to that garden and ride the Ferris wheel at least once, and then I definitely, absolutely must get home in time for dinner. Oh, where's that rabbit? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter three, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Oh. I'm still all funny. Let's see, how do I get back to myself? Just good old Alice. Hey, there's that rabbit. Hey, rabbit. <laughs> hey, I'm talking here. Oh, there you are. There I am? But I've been looking for you. Marianne, you dreadful girl. Get back to work at once. Huh? Oh boy, worst assistant I've ever had. I think you have me confused with someone else. <laughs> Perhaps someone who's rather tall and multicolored. That's enough jibber jabber nonsense. Now will you please go fetch my fan? I've lost my other one. Fine, but after I do, you're telling me the way out of this crazy rabbit hole. Ooh, this is so exciting. Why is his house big enough to fit a giant? Oh, maybe it's so when he hops, he doesn't hit the ceiling. <laughs> I bet that's it. Pretty smart. Now, where's that fan? Oh, I think I deserve a cookie for this. There's that fan. Wait a second. Last time I picked up the rabbit's fan, I changed size. But did I grow to be a gigantic giant? Or did I shrink down teensy weensy? I can't remember. Well, let's just take a chance. Here goes nothing. Hey, I'm not all rainbow colored now. <laughs> Score! But, well, well, wait, uh-oh, I, I think I'm growing. Oh, I better crouch down so that I don't hit the ceiling. Oh no! This is so fun. Oh no, oh no, my 
my house! You're wearing my house! What, this old thing? I'm calling the police! The police? But I'm already locked up! Well, kids, this takes the cake. If I told my friends back home about this, they'd never believe me. <laughs> this is just like a fairy tale. Someone should write a story about me. We could call it Alice in the Rabbit Hole. Nah, that doesn't sound right. Hmm. It's the fuzz! All right, come out with your hands up. Oh no, I hope she's okay. I can't come out, but I can put my hands up. See? <gasps> And she stole my cookie. Dreadful girl. But I'm gonna need a backup here. We got a situation. I want to come out, I promise. I just can't. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. Look, I'm only a kid. Biggest kid I ever saw. Maybe it's from stealing so many cookies. Hey, I had permission to eat those other cookies. And this one, well, I'm gonna eat it now just because you're being so mean. So, to you, rabbit. Ooh. But we're gonna need to file a missing persons report. She disappeared! Let's go on another adventure. Come on! Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Well, there's the house, and there's the rabbit, and the policeman. But where's Alice? Over here! The cookie made me shrink, and I escaped. Let's go! Hey, this looks like a great place to rest. What are you guys supposed to be? We are footmen. Footmen? <laughs> but you have fins. Shouldn't I call you fin men? <laughs> that was so funny. Footman is a fancy word for a servant. I work for the Duchess. And I work for the Queen. Well, I am very impressed. Nice to meet you both. I think I'd like to ask the Duchess if she can help me find my way home. Wait, you need me to open the door. I'm the footman. I can do it. Bless you. Bless you. Gesundheit. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Who let you in? My footman? More like the fin man, <laughs> am I right? Need a tissue? Here, watch the baby. Wait a second, I'm bigger than that baby. Of course you are, why wouldn't you be? But out there, I was tiny. Look, I'm tiny. I'm big. Tiny. Big. Whoa, this place is crazy. I'm big. <laughs> That's enough, I'm going to play croquet. Take good care of the baby. Why is everyone giving me jobs to do? Good thing I like babies. Okay, baby, it's just you and me. And me. Ah! A giant cat! Maybe you're just small. I think I'm my usual size now, actually. It's hard to tell sometimes. Say, do you know how to babysit? There's a baby here? I only see you, me, and a pig wearing a diaper. Ah! Ah! The baby turned into a pig! Oh no, I'm the worst babysitter ever! And why are you grinning? This isn't funny. I'm a Cheshire cat, it's what I do. Well stop it, it's not funny, and I don't know how to take care of a pig slash baby. Don't worry about it, Porky knows how to take care of himself. Let's watch TV and order a pizza. Usually I'd say yes to pizza, but you guys are making me a little nervous. I'm out of here. <gasps> hey, the, the, the room turned all topsy-turvy. Do you know the way out of here? Why don't you use the door, you batchy galoob? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. I'm still trying to find my way out of this rabbit hole. <gasps> Oh look, there's some nice looking fellows that should be able to help me. They're sleeping. Shh. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, wait a second, you're just pretending. We were hoping you would leave us alone. Well, that's rude. Says the girl who interrupted our tea party. Your hair is too long, you should get a haircut. <laughs> that was hilarious.
Why, you're rude too. Besides, I like my hair, and that rude little mouse is still pretending to be asleep, even though we've met before. I thought we were friends. Oh no, he really is asleep. Poor little guy's exhausted. Oh dear, now I am the rude one. No worries, have some tea. I guess he's a sleep talker. <laughs> the other two introduced themselves as the March Hare and the Mad Hatter. The March Hare was an odd creature indeed. He would butter a piece of toast and take one bite and say, yuck, too much butter, and then on to the next piece of toast. Same thing, over and over again. And the Mad Hatter, he was even odder. No, that's an udder. I said otter. Sorry. An otter? Where? Not that kind of otter. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Good. Otters are utterly annoying. Why do you keep dipping your watch into your tea? Well, it all goes back to the time I killed time. And then the Mad Hatter told me the most ridiculous story. He had to sing for the queen. He says he sang an old classic, Twinkle Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder where you're at. I told him he had the words all wrong, but he insisted he was right, and I was ruining his story. On he went. Up above the world you fly, like a tea tray in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. Anyway, you get the idea. While well, the queen jumped up and said he was killing the time, and then she yelled, Off with his head! The Mad Hatter managed to escape, head and all. Whew, that was a close one. But ever since, time has been paused, stopped, finished, el finito. Yes, my watch stopped at four o'clock, and we've just been here ever since. It's always tea time. I love tea time, but I do wish dinner time would come. At least you don't ever have bedtime. Bedtime is the worst. <laughs> oh, but I do love bedtime stories. <laughs> Those are so cool. I like stories about princesses and dragons and pirates. Oh, and stories about tigers and, and robots and, and romance. Oh, I love a romance. <laughs> and adventure and ninjas and oh, fairies and, and pixies. And oh, of course, a story about a handsome prince. Wow, that is so cool. Enough. We don't have time for you to list every kind of story ever told. Rude. Besides, I thought you had a lot of time. Weren't you listening? We have no time. That's very confusing. All I know is that you are a very rude bunny. And you are a very rude hatter, whatever that is. And you, Mr. Mouse, I thought you were supposed to be nice. I am, dear. Quite nice. Lovely to see you. Well, lovely to see you too. As for the rest of you, I'm going. Perfect. Goodbye. No, bad bye. It's the garden I've been looking for. Woohoo! What do you think is going to happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter six. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Hi again. I'm finally in the garden that I've been looking for. Awesome sauce. I should go to the Ferris wheel and get cotton candy. Oh, what's that noise? I better hide. Oh no, the queen of hearts. Watch out. Wow, the queen is actually a queen of hearts from a deck of playing cards. I wonder if she likes to play go fish. What's that? It smells like a rotten child. Hey, I'm not rotten. I'm really nice. Ask anybody, except the Mad Hatter <laughs> or the March Hare. They don't think I'm really nice. Or the White Rabbit. Don't ask him. He thinks I stole his cookie and ruined his house. <laughs> you did ruin my house. Off with her head. Uh-oh, she better watch out. No way! No, you're not offing with my head. I came here to do two things. Ride the Ferris wheel and eat cotton candy. So kindly, your highness, tell me where the Ferris wheel is. She is just a child, dear. Maybe you shouldn't off with her head. Oh, well, can you at least play croquet? I sure can. Oh, boy, do I wish I hadn't said that. 
The queen's croquet game was totally bananas. The card soldiers had to bend over backwards and frontwards to make the arches to hit the balls through, except the croquet balls were live hedgehogs and no one had any regular mallets. Instead, they used real live pink flamingos. It was the weirdest game ever. Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good. But I was too scared not to play, or else she might say, off with Alice's head. Hmm, I'm really sorry, you guys. I promise to be very gentle. Thank you. No problem, Alice. Anyway, so I'm just standing over here waiting for my turn, and guess who I see? Drew Pandas? No. Rapunzel? Nuh uh. Crafty Carol? No. Octavia? Keep guessing. Snow White? No. Cheshire Cat? That's right, the Cheshire Cat. Well, sort of, anyway. All I could see was his Cheshire Cat grin. Look, right over there. Hey, Cheshire Cat, is that really you? Yeah, how you doing? Not so great. I thought this garden was gonna be the best place ever, and it's not at all. The queen keeps yelling about offing people's heads, which personally, I don't find very gracious, and I don't like this mean old game of croquet. I don't think it's nice at all to the flamingos, or the hedgehogs, or even the card soldiers. By the way, why are you just a mouth right now? What happened to the rest of you? It's simple. The queen can't say off with my head if I don't have a head. Ooh, that makes sense. How about that? That better? Much better. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Any idea how we can escape? What is that? Off with us! Off with us! Uh -uh! She couldn't figure out what to say, and she was getting pretty, 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 pretty angry. Quick! Cheshire Cat, how do we get out of here? Yo, Alice, eat this apple. Hey, watch it. Cool. Hey, Queen. Mm. What now? Now we're light enough to just float away. Huh? Whoa. from that mean old queen just in the nick of time. And hey, there's the Ferris wheel. <laughs> awesome. Now I just need to get the rest of me back so I can ride it. At least I have a mouth left to eat my cotton candy with. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter seven, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. I'm glad we got away from the queen, but what now? I'm just eyes and a mouth. Don't worry about it. All we gotta do is drink this potion. Wait a minute. Oh, no, I left the potion in my pocket, which was on my pants, which have disappeared. Oh, no. What if I'm only a mouth and eyes forever? I'll never get to learn ballet or run a marathon or swim with the dolphins. What about me over here? Those were my favorite pants. Whoa, Alice, is that you? Yeah, hi, Drew. Wait, Drew, can you draw the rest of us? I think I can. How's that? Awesome, <laughs> thanks. Yay, I'm so happy. Okay, I don't know what you looked like before. Can you describe yourself? Oh, sure. First, let's see. I was tall, very tall, and strong with big muscles, a very cool mustache, and a suit made out of pure gold. Oh, that's perfect. That is not what you looked like. Come on, why you gotta ruin all my fun? He's actually a purple stripy cat, super furry, with a yellow and orange necktie, <laughs> and a red hat with little flowers sticking out the top. Don't forget my orange cargo pants. Done. There's that potion. Told you I left it in my pocket. Never mind that now. Let's go play. <laughs> Woohoo! Alice Drew and the Cheshire Cat went over to the Ferris wheel. They were so excited. Three tickets for the Ferris wheel, please. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. You must be this tall to ride. Well, that was weird. I'm sure I was taller before. Or maybe the Ferris wheel was smaller. See, I keep eating these cookies and drinking these potions that make me grow and shrink, and I'm pretty sure the real me is tall enough to ride this ride. Sorry, kid. Move along. Ugh! Oh well, there were more rides, so the three went over to the merry-go-round. Three tickets for the merry-go-round, please. This is a kid's ride. You're way too tall. What? Now I'm too tall? Too tall. Hey, there's a roller coaster over there. Maybe you'll be just the right amount of tall for that one. Let's try it. 
It totally looked like a regular roller coaster, but when they got there, they saw that it was ginormous and that the you must be this tall to ride sign was towering over their heads. I thought this garden was going to be amazing and so much fun, but it's not. First, there was that awful game of flamingo hedgehog croquet. Then the queen wanted to off with my head. And now all these rides keep changing size. Or am I? I don't even know. And, and I haven't even had one single bite of cotton candy. Aw, cheer up, Alice. Yeah, I don't like it when you're sad. Hey, I have an idea. Here. Yes, my own jet pack. That is amazing. Oh, I always wanted one of these. Now we can fly up to the top of the Ferris wheel. You can see all the sights. Awesome. And we can go around and around in circles just like a merry-go-round. Oh, okay, I'm getting dizzy. And we can go up and down and all around just like a roller coaster. Ah, too fast. That was fun, Drew. Thanks. Yeah, tons of fun. Oh, I'm just glad it's over. No problem, guys. Suddenly, the gang heard a familiar voice. There they are, off with their heads. Oh no, it's the Queen of Hearts. Run! Better yet, let's jet. Alice, Drew, and the Cheshire Cat flew right over the Queen and her army. She did not like that at all. She would have totally offed their heads if she could have reached them. Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter eight, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Drew and the Cheshire Cat zipped over the queen's head and into safer territory. Drew quickly sketched a door leading to another garden. He flew through, followed by the Cheshire Cat. But when Alice got to the door, she realized it was too tiny for her. Oh no, I've grown giant again. What's going on? You guys go on ahead. I must find out the cure to all this growing and shrinking. Alice began to walk through the garden looking for an apple or a cookie like the ones she'd eaten before. Oh, there's a plate of tarts. Perfect. These are the queen's tarts. Hands off, you dessert thief. Sorry, I didn't know. All rise. Today the honorable judge, the king of hearts, will hear the case of the missing tarts. But the tarts are right there. So who stole the tarts? No one. They're right there. It was the knave. The knave of hearts stole the tarts. No, he didn't. Then why did you say he did? I didn't. Don't you remember your poem, your honor? <laughs> the evidence. The queen of hearts, she made some tarts. All on a summer's day, the knave of hearts, he stole those tarts and took them clean away. The king of hearts called for the tarts and beat the knave full sore. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts and vowed he'd steal no more. And so you see, this giant lady says the knave of hearts stole the tarts. Off with his head! No! Uh-oh, they better watch out. Please don't off with his head. It was just a made-up poem. Silence in the court. That means you, Alice. But quiet! Or it's off with your head. Hmm, her head is much too large to off. Hey, that's not my fault. Maybe she stole the tarts. What? Me? I'm trying to defend you. She did steal my cookie. Oh dear, this was getting way out of control. Alice didn't steal any tarts. Well, she was going to, but she didn't actually do it. And she never met a knave of hearts before, but she was pretty sure he didn't steal any either. Besides, weren't the tarts right there and not missing at all? Your Honor, we can all see that the tarts are right here, as in not stolen. So why don't we all just forget about this whole thing and move on? <laughs> Who wants to play croquet? It's you! You're the girl from before! You were much smaller then. Exactly! It was she who stole the tarts. Your Honor, White Rabbit, Caterpillar, animals of the jury. You all have seen me before. You know that, for whatever reason, I keep changing size. It's not from eating. Well, I did eat that one cookie, and then that other one. But those cookies were magical! Or something. I don't know. Oh no! I hope she's okay! Will the Mad Hatter please take the stand? Oh, great. This guy again. Kids, as you know, the Mad Hatter and Alice did not exactly get along. 
the Hatter bowed before the Queen and then began the silliest nonsense Alice had ever seen or heard. There was a girl who stole some tarts, and Alice was her name-o. A-L-I-C-E, 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 and Alice was her name-o. He's just making up this song. No fair. The real song is B-I-N-G-O, and then she tried to blame the name-o. Alice was her name-o. A-L-I-C-E. Enough! I don't like this song. Off with his head. <laughs> Order! Order in the court! The animal jury will decide who is guilty, Alice or the knave. The animals of the jury whispered, barked, meowed, squeaked, and riveted among themselves. Finally, they had their decision. We, the animals of the jury, think it was Alice who ate the tarts. What? No! That can't be! The knave of hearts is as skinny as a card. Nobody ate the tarts. They're right there! Wait, I'm confused. I thought they were stolen. They were stolen, but now they're here. And none are missing? Nope. Well, why are we arguing about this? I wonder why anyone does anything here in Wonderland. It's all so silly. Oh, what did she say about Wonderland? Oh, poo to you. You're nothing but a card. Why don't you go fish? Off with her head! The queen sent her entire pack of cards on the attack. They all came flying at Alice as if someone had shuffled them and thrown them in the air, ninja style. What? Oh, I think I'm back at home. Is this real? Ouch! And I think I'm my right size. Oh, this is wonderful. But how did I get back? Was it a dream? No, it couldn't be. But what if I want to go back to Wonderland sometime? It was scary and confusing sometimes, but also kind of fun. <laughs> oh well, time to eat. I'd love a cookie, or maybe a tart. Shh. That was such a great ending. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time, bye. Hi kids, I'm Miss Booksy and this is Storytime. Today, we're reading Treasure Island. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of brew. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Will a parrot eat a cracker? I don't know, this is New England. Not a lot of parrots around here, do they? They do indeed, and I'm okay. Just give me a minute. Sure I can't give you a hand? Ah, uh, could ya? A hand would be great. Ah! <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm okay, I just need a rest. And I've had quite a journey. Pirates, buried treasure, typhoons, sharks, etc., etc. Wow, that is so cool. Whoa, really? Yeah, Arr, and now I need a place to lie low. Hide out. Ooh, are you hiding from pirates? Yes, I am. Cool. Well, you can hide out here as long as you want. We got a bed and breakfast upstairs. Great. And could you hide my trunk? Back there ought to work just fine. Sure thing. It looks like a treasure chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of cola. <sighs> and that's how I met the sea captain. After that, my life changed forever. Pretty soon, everybody in town was friends with the sea captain. For somebody who was hiding out, he sure did a lot of talking. He told all kinds of wild stories, like the time... I got my hand bitten off by a vicious barracuda. Hey! Oof, that's gotta hurt. I fought off a shark with one hand. Not today, hammerhead. And then there was the sea captain's number one hit. The time I found Captain Flint's treasure map. I was on the run from Long John Silver. You know Long John Silver, right? No. Yes. He's got a peg leg and a hook hand and an eye patch. And thank goodness for that patch, because his one eye is the evilest eye you ever saw. If he had two evil eyes, one look from him, and he'd strike you dead. Ooh. And get this, he even has a parrot that sits on his shoulder. Uh-oh. They better watch out. Okay, so back to the treasure map. Did you find the treasure? No, sadly, I never got the chance. Long John Silver chased me halfway around the globe trying to get that map. Is Long John Silver still chasing you? I reckon he is. And if he ever shows up here, well, old Jimmy's going to give me the signal. Yeah, like this. <whistles> Arr, that's a good signal. 
and lickety split, I'll be gone. And then I'll go find the treasure. Gold, rubies, diamonds, you name it. Pearls? Yeah. Sapphires? For sure. Chocolate coins wrapped in gold foil? Probably. Wow. And a ro ho ho and a bottle of brew. La 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 la. Every day with the sea captain was full of tall tales and excitement. But then, one day, the sea captain got sick. So sick, in fact, that he couldn't get out of bed. So sick, he couldn't go on any new adventures. That's when he told me to open the trunk. He said there was something special in there. He said, When you find it, you'll know what to do. My time is up, little buccaneer. This is your story now. That is so sad. Ooh, some dirty socks. Hello? Ah! Ah! And what's this? Holy macaroni? It's the treasure map. Ooh, interesting. Let's read another story. Come on. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. A real treasure map? Wow, but to find a treasure map and have absolutely no idea what to do about it, well, that just doesn't feel so good. And as bad luck would have it, guess who showed up? Peg leg, hook hand, eye patch, evil eye, shoulder parrot? Squawk, Long John Silver's here. Squawk, make way for Long John Silver. Uh, watch out. Time for the signal. But then, I remembered that the sea captain was gone. This was my fight now. I had to be brave. Oh, hi, uh, what's up? Can I help you with something? Yes, I think you can. Has an old sea captain been through these parts? Perhaps dragging a trunk that looks like a treasure chest? A hook for a hand like this? Hmm, let me think, uh... Yeah, nope, that doesn't sound familiar. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go feed my cat. She's lying! She's lying! Liar, liar, pants on fire! What? No! <laughs> the sea captain. He has my treasure map. I want it back. Oh, right, 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 right. One moment. Whew, that was a close one. What's that say? Need help. I've got your back. Selena Garns, attorney at law. Where's the shot? Hi, I need some help. Long story, but here goes. So I met the sea captain. I thought maybe he was a pirate, but he wasn't. He was just a regular sea captain. But he was running from a real pirate and a scary one named Long John Silver because he had a stolen treasure map. A treasure map, huh? That leads to real treasure? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Hmm, I can work with that. 10% of the cut plus expenses, and I'm in. So Selena Barnes, attorney of law, helped me charter a boat. We found a boat captain and a crew. We even went shopping for some new pirate treasure hunting duds. Wow, this is so fun. And then we were off, sailing away from home and headed out into the great wide open, setting sail on our maiden voyage, heading down to the sunny tropics to get some treasure and... <gasps> Apparently, now I'm seasick. Whew. Once I got my sea legs, I went for a little looky loo around the boat. That's when I heard something interesting. Ooh, I think it's a whale, but not that. This, listen. So LJS is on his way. As soon as we get to Skeleton Island, we'll mutiny, and then we'll take the treasure. Hmm, that sounds suspicious. Mutiny? That doesn't sound good. Wait, what does that mean? I better go ask the captain. But wait a second, who's LJS? It's not... Long John Silver says these guys don't know nothing about pirate stuff. They'll be total pushovers. Long John Silver! I should have known he was gonna chase after us. Uh-oh, this is not good. So off I went to find the captain. Captain! Captain Smallish! Captain! Hey, hey, Captain! Captain! Nah! Captain! Phew, I'm glad I found you. You gotta hear this. I overheard the other crew guys saying that Long John Silver, the pirate, is chasing us. And when we get to the island, they're going to mutiny and take the treasure. By the way, what does mutiny mean? It's when a ship's crew takes over and oust the captain. Cool, cool, what's oust mean? It means to get rid of. Generally speaking, it's not good. Right, oh no. 
I hope they'll be okay. So what do we do? We play it cool. Okay, so like wear sunglasses and say things like, hey man, slap me five. No, we act like nothing's amiss. We're outnumbered. If we fight them now, we're doomed. So we play it cool, but in the meantime, we'll make a plan. Okay, so the plan is to make a plan. I like it. And how close could Long John Silver be? He's probably way behind us. Or so we hoped. Arr! There they be! Onward, ho! Giddy up, let's go! That treasure map will be mine in no time! Ha ha ha! Squawk! Giddy up! Giddy up! Ha ha ha! Whoa, that was scary. Let's go on another adventure! Come on! Chapter 3, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Ah, we're so close I can smell the treasure. All I smell is parrot dander and feet. Squawk, parrot dander and feet, squawk. Back on our ship, we were still hatching our plan. We had to figure out how to deal with the mutineers, aka the bad guys, on our ship. And we had to figure out how to deal with Long John Silver once he caught up with us. Hey, no one ever said treasure hunting would be easy. Okay, so when we land on the island, let's tell the bad guys we're gonna split up. Then we run and get the treasure, hop on the boat, and hightail it out of there. Ah! Hey, we're making lemonade. Y'all want some? No, thank you though. All righty. Woo, that was a close one. Okay, back to the plan. So we split up, but what if they follow us? What if they try to oust us before we even get to Skeleton Island? What if they make us walk the plank? We should be ready for battle at all times. <sighs> hey, what's up? Hey, sorry to interrupt. We're running low on toilet paper. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Okay, okay, good to know, thanks. Aye, aye. Weesh. I think this boat is too small for secrets. So, what were we saying? Now let's not forget the other big threat. What if Long John Silver catches up with us at sea? They're sure to have all kinds of fighting things. Swords, bows and arrows, water balloons, cannons. Ah! See? Ah! Ah! Oh no, this doesn't look good. He's here, he's here! Long John Silver is here! <gasps> what are we gonna? You're gonna walk the plank if once again. In case you couldn't tell, we're actually bad guys. <laughs> Check out all our swords and stuff. We're total baddies. Don't show them the secret sword stash. Oops, sorry. Um, so really, what's the plan now? We can sue them for damages and psychological distress. Or we could try to steer the ship out of the line of fire. Yeah, you do that. I'll think on how to get rid of these two. Whoa! No fair! Just turn the cannons towards them! Um, Captain? Yes? It might be a little bit late for this, but... Take that, bad guy! <laughs> Land ho! Land ho! Land ho! Squawk! Ha! They crashed! Also look! We've reached Skeleton Island! Woohoo! I'm just gonna sail to the other side of the island before we disembark! Good thinking! I'd like to avoid Long John if we can. Um, but what about these guys? Oh, I almost forgot. Ah, ah, jump. Well, that was easy. You saved my life. Now she'll learn to do that. Guess I picked up a thing or two from the sea captain. Just need a little bit more practice. <laughs> so, cannon attacks aside, things were kind of looking up. Maybe we could land ho, get in, get out, grab the treasure, bing, bang, boom. Or maybe this pirate party was just getting started. Whoa, that was scary. Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So, let's see. According to this map, the treasure is... Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going north, two stars over that way. Hmm. That way. Well, okay then. I guess a captain would have a good sense of direction. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I think the map was upside down. Oh, no. I hope they'll be okay. Ah, a bug just landed on me. Ah! Shoo! Shoo! Shoo flies! You know what? I'm just 
going to hang by the ship. You know, keep watch. Make sure no bad guys take it. Good thinking. <laughs> ah! Snake! Where? There? Uh, I, I think they're everywhere. Wait, what's that sound? Sounds like a kookaburra. Really? I don't know. I've just always wanted to say kookaburra. Any luck with that map, Captain? I think we go that way. Ah! Or not. Sinking sand. I bet you this is a booby trap set to keep us away from the treasure. Classic pirates, Jeff. That must mean we're close. Cool. Let's go. Uh, Captain? <laughs> oh no. This doesn't look good. Don't move. Good boy. Yep. Just sniff and move along. Nothing to see here. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Take that, pirates. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Booby traps won't work on us. <laughs> Oof, that's gotta hurt. Ow. Oh. Ow. I think maybe let's try another direction this time. Roger that. But then, as soon as we changed direction, we heard this. Ah! Ah! Food! Food! Huh? Food! Food! I think he wants food. Oh, I, uh, I got some cookies. <laughs> Oh, that was scrumptious. Well, that was weird. Please do pardon my behavior before I was simply ravenous. I've been living off grubs and worms. For how long? Oh, I've lost track of time. I guess it's been about three years, four months, two weeks, and six days. So almost three years, four months, and three weeks, give or take. Oh, wow. How'd you end up here? Shipwreck? Balloon mishap? I was captured at sea by pirates, then abandoned here. Can you believe that? Real pirates. Yeah, we can believe it. We were actually chased here by Long John Silver. <gasps> no. Yes, do you know him? He's the one who captured me. Why, he's the gnarliest, crustiest, meanest, stinkiest pirate there ever was. Yeah, we have a treasure map, and he followed us all the way here to get it. Captain Flint's treasure? Yeah. You'll never find it. Oh, come on, man. Don't be a party pooper. Why would you say that? That treasure is cursed. Cursed. Cursed? Cursed. Cursed. Cursed? When are we gonna catch a break? A curse? Oh no! Let's go on another adventure! Come on! Chapter 5, here we go! Wiggle, snap, story time! Cursed? Yes! How many times do I have to tell you? Cursed! Okay, well, can you explain? Like, what kind of curse? Like, whoever finds it will turn into a frog, and then she has to find a charming prince to kiss before she turns into a pumpkin at midnight. Just spitballing here. No way. Worse. Okay, so what is it? I tell you, anyone who seeks the treasure is cursed to a life of despair. What does that mean? Well, look at me. I thought I would find the treasure, and I got captured by pirates and left to eat grubs and worms. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. That doesn't necessarily mean there's a curse. Maybe you're just unlucky. Well, your friend the sea captain didn't seem so lucky either. That's true. Or Long John Silver. I mean, his ship just crashed. Yeah. And we got rained on by cannon fire, fell up to our necks in sinking sand, and you almost got gobbled up by an anteater. These are all good points, yes. See, cursed. But wait, you said that anyone who looks for the treasure is cursed? Yes, indeed. Well, we already started looking, so I guess we're already cursed. Might as well keep going, am I right? Yeah, why not? Well, I've got nothing to lose. So let's keep going. Curse Schmersh. Who cares? Let's get some treasure. <laughs> but maybe there was a curse because things were about to get worse. Which way should we go? How about that way? <laughs> ah! Watch out! Ah! Gotcha. These guys again? Psh, I'll just whip out my sword and do some fierce pointy jabs and they'll go running back to Long John Silver. Oops. It was scarier last time. Yeah, I haven't had much time to practice. Well, looks like we have all the swords, so you'll just do as we say. Got it? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are we doing? Walking the plank? You need a ship to do that. You're gonna give us that treasure map. The treasure map? Never. Give it. No way. Come on. Nuh-uh. Please. Keep dreaming. Hand it over. I'd eat it before I give it to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We'll do it then. Okay. Mm. Delicious. How are they ever gonna get out of this one? I didn't think you'd actually do it. Neither did I. Yeah, me neither. That was next level. Uh. Oh, man. How are we gonna find the treasure now? Spit it out. Never. Well, then, you're coming with us. Where? To Long John Silver. No, not him. You know him? Yes, I'm his former prisoner. Great. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you again. Now, chop, chop. Let's go. See? I told you, my friend. We're cursed. The situation is not ideal, but we'll turn it around. You see, I'm an optimistic person. I look on the bright side of life, the sunny side, the... You were saying? Um, that everything's gonna be okay. And look on the bright side, turn lemons into lemonade, etc., etc. Well, that's a nice outlook. It'll serve you well when you're all tied up and shot out of my cannon into the sea. Eww. <laughs> Uh-oh. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter six, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. <clears throat> so you wanna tie us up and shoot us out of cannons into the sea. Just making sure I heard you correctly. Yes, but first give me that treasure map. I know you have it. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> What's so funny? I'd love to give you the treasure map, but I can't. You can't? You can't. You can't. It's impossible. Then why is that? Why is that? Why is that? <laughs> um, so she, uh, ate it. She ate it? Ate it? Ate it? We were all like, what? What? Would you please quit repeating everything? Please quit repeating everything. Ah. Oh, forget it. Forget it, forget it. All right, so spit it out. Never. Then I'll just have to make you spit it out. Uh-oh, she better watch out. And so Operation Get the Treasure Map began. First, they fed me terrible flavor combos like... Tuna salad topped with hot fudge. Cake pops frosted with ranch dressing. Gross. No. Toothpaste. An orange juice. An orange juice. <laughs> Why? Why is that the worst taste in the world? <sighs> but the smorgasbord of yuckiness didn't do the trick, so they told me to spin around 27 times really fast. 27? That's oddly specific, but okay. Now smell this sock. <laughs> Ugh. Wow, that is so mean. Finally, they set me afloat to let my seasickness take over. Oh, I could feel the grody food commingling with the old crusty treasure map in my belly. And the raft just kept bobbing, and my head was spitting, and... Excuse me. <laughs> they got the map. Your treasure map, sir. Oh, now it's all yucky. And the ink's all smudgy. That's just great. That's just great. That's just great. But meanwhile, I was just out there, floating, drifting further and further away. Hey, I can't swim. Hey, Captain Smallish, beauty guy. I'm sorry I didn't get your name, but please help. A ship. Hey, maybe it's someone here to rescue us. Yeah, I bet Selena Bard signaled for help, and then this ship full of good guys showed up to rescue us. Ooh, this is so exciting. Hey, down here, look. Grab the rope, we'll pull you up. Yes, I knew it, we're saved. Ooh, I hope they have some ginger ale up there. Whew. Hi, my name's Jimmy. Hello, my name is Captain Hooksy. Oh, well, I'm pleased to meet you, Captain. That's my friend's name, too. Anyway, you came just in the right time. The super scary pirate Long John Silver is over there on Skeleton Island. Did you say Skeleton Island? Yeah, scary name, right? 
That's it, mateys. Land ho! Let's go get that treasure! Woohoo! But first, tie this one up. What? I thought you were here to rescue us. And cover her mouth. She's too yappy. No! Whoa, that was scary. Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter seven, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Oh, I never realized how much I love talking. Okay, so the ship turned out to be full of more baddies. Just my luck. We're here. Drop anchor. Oh, ah, ow. Let's go get that treasure. Hello? Guys? Captain Hooksy? Anyone? Looks like the coast is clear. Now, I just gotta get untied. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's see what these pirates are up to. Okay, looks like Long John Silver's gone treasure hunting. Now, where are Captain Hooksy and her cronies? Oh, there she is. She's hot on their trail. Oh, and poor Captain Smallish and Beardy Guy are still tied up. Oh, if I could get myself untied, I would go help them. Ugh, what am I gonna do? I can't jump into the water like this. I'll sink like a stone. Hmm. It's not the best idea I've ever had, but it'll have to do. Ah! Ooh, this is kind of fun though. Eee! was a close one. Oh, the rope's come undone. Wow, that was incredible. Yeah, now untie us, pretty please. You guys are never gonna believe this. There are new pirates here. I thought it was bad enough that Long John Silver's here. Now there's this Captain Hooksy to deal with. No, 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 no. Um, something you wanna share with the group? Captain Hooksy is the other pirate that captured me. You've been captured by pirates more than once? Yes. How did you leave that out of your bio? Well, it's a little embarrassing. I almost escaped Skeleton Island a couple of years ago. I built a boat and set sail for home. Then boom, Captain Hooksy caught me and made me work as her butler. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. But then I messed up her tea and she made me walk the plank. Always remember, two lumps of sugar, not one, two. That is so not cool. And so you wound up back here on Skeleton Island? Correct. See, told you I'm cursed. So what's she like beyond the two lumps of sugar thing? <laughs> She's a real baddie. Almost as bad as Long John Silver. Maybe worse. But everyone says Long John Silver is the meanest, stinkiest pirate there ever was. Oh, she's mean all right and stinking. I once saw her make a flamingo walk the plank. I mean, a flamingo. I mean, it just flew away, of course. But still, it was mean. Wow, that is so mean. Well, we have two choices. Get back to the ship and go home, no treasure, or we stick to the plan and find the gold. Maybe fight a few pirates along the way. I vote go home. I vote stay and find the treasure. Hmm, up to me with the deciding vote, huh? I say let's find the treasure. When will we ever get another chance to find real treasure? Ooh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's giddy up. Um, one problem. We don't have the map. All right. Hmm. Can you remember at all what it looked like? Any landmarks? No, there were drawings of trees, but there are trees everywhere. Think, think, there has to be something you remember. Something that can help us. There was some writing on it, a poem or something. Oh yeah, maybe that's a clue. It said, it always runs, but never leaves. Leaves? Trees? Like I said, there were a lot of trees on the map. Nah, that's not it. What always runs, but never leaves? A refrigerator? Perhaps a hamster in one of those wheels. Water runs? Is there a spout somewhere on the island? No, there's no running water here. If you need fresh water, you have to go to the waterfall. <gasps> That's it, it must be buried near the waterfall. The water runs, but the waterfall never leaves. Can you lead the way? Sure. Let's go. 
And so we were off, off to see the wonderful wizard of, wait, no, different story. <laughs> we were off to find the treasure of Skeleton Island, nay, Treasure Island. Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter eight, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. We were on our way to the waterfall, the location of the buried treasure, hopefully, maybe. Fingers crossed. Ah! But something was telling us the pirates were on the same path. Are you okay? Yeah, it just fell into this hole here. Looks freshly dug. The pirates must have been here, digging for the treasure. Whoa. You all right? Yes, I guess they were just being thorough. Well, guess they left no stone unturned. No hole undug. Give me a hand! Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. Shh! Hear that? Dig! I don't think it's here, Captain Hooksy. Just dig! Yes, ma'am. We better hide! We're not leaving till we've dug up every bit of dirt on this island. I'm going to find this treasure if it's the last thing I do. What is it? <laughs> Tight. Thank you. But shh, who's there? No one. Well, I don't think that's gonna work. You? I thought I left you tied up on my ship. Well, I cannonballed myself back onto the island, so. Uh oh, she better watch out. You've seen the map. You know where the treasure is, don't you? What? Me? <laughs> is that what you said? Or did you say Matt? Matt who? Yeah, I don't know anybody named Matt. Actually, my name is Matt. Oh, really? I've just been calling you Beardy Man. I didn't say Matt. I said map, as in treasure map. Oh, right, 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 right. Tell me where the treasure is, and I'll let you leave this island in one piece. Okay, you drive a hard bargain. It's that way. All righty, mateys, let's go get some treasure. Oh, told you, cursed. Come on, I don't have all day. How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Meet me at the waterfall. What? Shh, I said, meet me at the waterfall. Oh, I, I. Now march. We probably need a plan, don't we? So we think it's somewhere near this waterfall. Okay, start digging. Me? Well, I'm not digging. Well, I don't have a shovel. Use your hands. Okay. And so I dug. And I dug, and dug, and I dug, and I dug, and I dug. You dig, and then finally, I found something. Treasure? Hey, this looks just like the one the sea captain gave me. Open it, open it. Patience is a virtue. Open it. Aye, aye. Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter nine, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So I was just about to open the wooden chest that I had found. You know, the one that looked like it probably, most likely, very possibly contained treasure. Yeah, that one. Anyway, so I, ahem, uh, uh, I'm waiting. Oh, yes, right, right, right. Uh, mm, alrighty, here I go. Opening this treasure chest now. Okay, now would be a really good time for my friends to come and save me. <sighs> oh no, this doesn't look good. What is the holdup? Move, I'll do it. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Long John Silver is back. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun! That's right, and I'll just be taking that treasure. Okay, thanks, bye. I don't think so, Long John. Ah, oh, big sword! Ah, oh, another big sword! Oh. Still, guys, really? How long can two pirates sword fight? <sighs> kind of getting bored over here. Wait a minute, if they're distracted, then maybe I could just sneak away with it. Ooh, this is so exciting. Okay, 
Easy does it. A few more steps and I'll be in the clear. Oh, I was just about to escape the pirates and get the treasure. Amazing, right? And then I looked up and saw this. We're coming down to save you. No, shh, I'm about to make a clean getaway. What did she say? I don't know. What did you say? Uh, shh, thank you, but no thank you. I'm good. What? I, I think she said thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow, good. Aw, that's nice. Well, let's go. yippee ki yay buccaneers. Huh? Yeah. No! And just when I was about to sneak away from the pirates, once and for all, I gotta go and get rescued. Oh no, I hope they'll be okay. Well, what do we have here? You just wait till I get out of here. We're gonna teach you a lesson. Are ya? Yes, we will, old chap. Looks like I gotta rescue the rescuers. Okay, think, Jimmy. Hey, pirates! No! It's deep! I can't see without my swim goggles! Quit splashing me! I didn't splash, you splashed! It's gone! My treasure is gone! Your treasure? It's my treasure! Come on, guys, hop up! We have to go while the getting's good! AKA, let's fall moose, scram, make like a tree and leaf, shake a leg, giddy up! Uh, Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on! Chapter 10, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Are you going somewhere? Us? No, why would we go anywhere? We love this island, it's paradise. Plus, you guys are so nice. Are you being sarcastic? No! I think you are. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because we stole your ship. No. Yep, look. <gasps> no! Oh no, 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 no! Told you we were cursed! Found it! <gasps> I found the treasure! Woohoo! It's mine! How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Hooks off! I saw it first! Nuh uh! Yeah, huh? Paper, rock, scissors for it! Fine! Paper, rock, scissors, shoot! You can't use hook! It's not paper, rock, scissors, hook! One more! For real this time! Paper, rock, scissors! Hey, look over there! Where? Haha, <laughs> gotcha! I win! I win! No fair! Hey, it's just full of dirt and rocks! It was that girl! She stole my treasure! Let me at her! Yikes, scary, right? I would be frightened, but nope. Cause we hightailed it out of there while they were playing rock, paper, scissors. Made it to the ship, baby. Now, we just gotta set sail before the bad guys find out. Take that, bad guy. Pull up anchor, Captain. Aye, aye. And hoist the sails. Aye, aye. Now let's go. I said let's go. Did you pull the anchor? Yeah. Hoist the sails? Yeah. Why aren't we moving? No wind? I tell you we're cursed. Hello. Waiting for us? Ah, the pirates. Whoa. Ow, and I fell. I am cursed. I have the worst luck in the world. Um, Jimmy. What? We're moving. We are? We are. Ah. Woohoo. Bye-bye, pirates. See you never. Yay! Woo, that was a close one. We did it, gang. And woo, what an adventure. Pirates, sinking sand, cannonballs, sword fights, buried treasure. Wait, the treasure! That was our one chance to get away, Jimmy. I know it's sad, but we had to leave it behind. Did we? I pull the old classic switcheroo, put the rich stuff in my boots, and filled the treasure chest with dirt and rocks while the pirates weren't looking. Ah, amazing! Lovely! 
The diamonds were really poking my feet when we were running to the ship, but it was all worth it. <laughs> now let's just get home and try to live happily ever after, or something like that. Aye aye, Captain. Wait, that's me, I'm the captain. How much is there? I get 10%, remember? Oh, do you guys mind dropping me off in England? That would be lovely. And would you mind untying me? That was such a great ending. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye. One of the Little Mermaid's favorite things to do was listen to her sister's stories about the world beyond the water. See, whenever one of the princesses turned 18, she was allowed to go to the surface of the ocean. There, she could see the sky, and the birds, and the clouds, and if they were extra lucky, they might even see a ship with humans on board. Sometimes, though, the Little Mermaid got the sense that her sisters were just making stuff up. Human people have eight legs. They kind of look like octopuses. I think it's octopi. Whatever. And some humans have a horn on their head, like a narwhal. No way! You'll see. Land people have eyes all over their bodies, so they can see everything at once. nuh -uh. Yeah, they do. Blech, I don't believe it. I think humans are beautiful. I guess they are, if you like lots of eyes and horns and stuff. <laughs> when the Little Mermaid was almost 100% sure they were fibbing, she would go to her dad. Dad, is it true that human people have eight legs and a narwhal horn and lots of eyes and that they wrestle sharks and eat whale blubber for dessert? The only thing you should know about people is that they can be dangerous and you should never speak to one. Ugh, when am I going to get my chance to see the humans? I feel like I'll never turn 18. But of course she did grow up. See, there she is, right before her 18th birthday. Hi, <laughs> let me tell you about life as a sea princess. We lived in a palace made of shells and pieces of treasure from sunken ships. At night, each princess slept in a bed of beautiful sea flowers. <laughs> and you've heard of a school of fish, right? That's where we studied and learned. I was just a regular girl. Oh, except my best friend was a dolphin. <laughs> Hi there. I guess you humans might not think that's too regular. The craziest adventure was when we sneaked into the sea witch's house. She lived in a giant sunken pirate ship. Super creepy, but also super cool. <laughs> the sea witch had gone out to get a carton of whale milk for her coffee. We swam inside and... Wow. Cool. Cool? We were playing with a sword. Well, I was. <laughs> Dolph can't hold a sword. No hands. <laughs> and I was just about to defeat the pretend pirate ghost that I was battling when... La 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 Hide! No! Let's get out of here! Out of where? Ah! Care to tell me what you're doing in my house? Nothing! Yeah, we took a wrong turn. Yeah, I mean, we don't even like it here. I mean, <laughs> that's not what I mean. I mean, I'm, uh, see ya. Not so fast. Are you the daughter of the king? Um, yeah. I saw you on TV. You sang the oceanic anthem before the big squid dash in the orca race last year. Oh, down in the sea, by the prawns the light, <laughs> or the sea sponge we. Oh, I just love your voice. Here, have some tea. Oh, why, thank you. Hmm, suspicious. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, a beautiful voice. You wouldn't want to trade it, would you? <laughs> My voice? Yes. I would give you something wonderful in return. Anything you wished. We should really get going. Yes, I hate to be rude, but no thanks. Okay, we are never going back there. Definitely not. See you tomorrow at my place? Not if I see you first. Anyway, you may be wondering what was happening the next day. Nothing major. Just my 18th birthday! <laughs> we were having a huge party and everyone was there. All my friends and my sisters and my mom and dad. <laughs> awesome! It was a piñata, tons of balloons, 
and a pin the tail on the tiger shark. Hey, cut that out. <laughs> and of course, we had a huge cake. <laughs> no candles though, because you know, water. <laughs> but I still made a wish. I wish that when I swim to the top of the ocean and look out, that I'll see a real live human prince. A handsome one, not like what my crazy sisters keep telling me about. Like, I hope he only has two eyes. <laughs> like the handsome princes I've seen in my fairy tale books. I want to see him dance and ride a bike and play soccer. Oh, and I'd also like to dance and ride a bike and play soccer. That sounds cool. Hey, maybe I want to be a human, just for a little while. Ahem. <clears throat> oh. Sorry, and I'm done. What did you wish for? I can't tell you that, but I will tell you that first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to the top of the ocean. I do that every morning. It's how I breathe. Oh, <laughs> I always forget that you're an air breather. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen a person? Not up close. What do you want to see a human for? No reason. The next morning, the Little Mermaid and Dolph swam to the top of the ocean where the water meets the sky. The last one there is a rotten turtle egg. Look! A ship! The prince! It's him! The who? What? Let's go! When the Little Mermaid and Dolph got to the surface, they looked out and saw a magnificent ship, definitely fit for a prince! There's gotta be a prince on that ship, I just know it! What prince? That prince. A prince! What a dream boat. It is a nice boat, I guess. <laughs> no, he's the dream boat. <laughs> that means he's a total cutie pie. I don't like pie. Humans love pie. Gosh, you don't know anything about people, do you, Dolph? I know that that one is looking right at us. What? Ah! I can't let the prince see me like this. Like what? As a mermaid. But you are a mermaid. Yeah, and he's a human, Dolph. Never in any of the hundreds of fairy tales that I've read have I ever heard of a human falling in love with a mermaid. Love? Already? Sheesh. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm getting a little carried away, but he looks just like a storybook prince. Not at all like my sisters described. They said humans have horns and eight legs and a hundred eyes, but this human only has two perfectly perfect eyes. Maybe we should go home. I have a better idea. Let's go see what he's doing now. It's his birthday too? O-M-G whiz. We are so meant to be. Look, he's about to blow out his candles. Real candles, Dolph. Oh, well, I wonder what his wish is gonna be. Maybe it's to meet a mermaid. <laughs> Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might. Have the wish I wish tonight. Didn't he already make a wish on his birthday candles? Dolph, be quiet. I wish I didn't have to get married. At least, not to any of the princesses around here. I just want to meet someone who gets me. I get you. Someone who likes the things I like. Someone I can talk to. Someone down to earth who likes to take long walks and dance. I'm here. It's me. Be mine. Huh? Oh, no. I'll save you. I'm on it. We'll never be able to get him back on the ship. Let's carry him to shore. Got him. Who are you? I'm the one you wished for. Uh-oh, here comes a human. We have to go. But... No buts. Let's go. Goodbye, my prince. I'll come back for you. I promise. <laughs> Sir, are you okay? Where is she? Where's my princess? You fell overboard. You must have hit your head. No, she was here. She saved me. Whatever you say, sir. And so the little mermaid went straight to the sea witch. Ah, the king's daughter. What do you want, sweetheart? Um, well, I wanted to ask you, um, about feet? You want to ask me about feet? Well, I guess what I really want is to be a human. Okay, here's what I can do. I'll grant your wish, you'll be a human. Really? But you only have one month. If you can't make the prince fall in love with you in one month, then you'll return to the sea, not as a mermaid, but as a sea urchin. A sea urchin? And everyone knows sea urchins are the worst. Deal? Deal. Abracadabra. Pleasure doing business with you. 
What's that? I can't hear you. Oh, your feet? Just swim towards the land. When you emerge from the water, you will have your very own feet. Oh. The Little Mermaid swam towards the shore faster than she'd ever swum before. She was so excited. But then she started to think about everything that was at stake. What if she and the prince didn't get along? Oh no, she hadn't thought of that. What if the plan backfires and she gets turned into a sea urchin never to see Dolph and her family ever again? But the Little Mermaid soon forgot her worries because she had arrived at the beach. She had two fully functioning, not at all tentacly feet. Love it. Oh. Owie, ow, 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 oh, oh. Sea urchin, told you they were the worst. But at least I have my very own feet. <laughs> Let the dancing begin. Well, as soon as my foot stops stinging, darn urchins. Okay, first order of business, shoes. <laughs> I know all about shoes because of the fairy tales I've read. <laughs> Maybe I can get some glass slippers like Cinderella. <gasps> awesome. These are perfect. May I help you? Oh, I forgot about the whole no talking thing. Darn sea witch and her weird spells. Don't worry kids, I can still talk to you guys, but just no one in the story can hear me. You wanna buy these shoes? Those are a kid's size six. <laughs> Let's find something in your size. Cute! Ooh, these are much better. Wait, where are you going? You have to pay for those. You know, with money? Do you have money? I'll buy them for her. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. What happened? Why don't you have any shoes? I think she's saying she fell off the boat. You poor thing. Can you not speak at all? You must have hit your head or something when you fell overboard. I'll take care of you. You'll live in the palace until you're better. Um, awesome. If she's the princess, then she must be related to the prince. Oh. Princess Lily was so nice. She took me to get new clothes. And then it was time to go to the palace. Oh man, was it nice. But when we went to dinner, it was like he'd never seen me before in his life. Bummer. The princess explained to everyone that she had found me wandering around the town with no shoes, hungry and lost after I'd fallen off a ship passing in the night. She was wrong, obviously, but works for me. <laughs> hey, I fell off a ship yesterday, too. Small world. Yeah, he fell overboard at his birthday party. He thinks a mermaid saved him. It's true. I can't remember her face, but I'm positive I saw her. Mermaids aren't real, Jeff. They're just pretend, Jeff. Where does your family live, dear? Mom, I told you, she can't talk. Things were going really well with the prince and princess. They taught me all kinds of stuff about the human world. Of course, they thought they were just helping me remember. You know, because I fell off a ship and bumped my head. But the best thing I learned was how to dance. The royal ball is coming up and you have to go. It's so much fun. Oh, ignore him. He still misses his imaginary mermaid girlfriend. Hey, Jeff, maybe you can invite the mermaid to the ball. Aw, sad. <laughs> You're very good at line dancing. Save a dance for me at the ball? Awesome, he likes me. Well, he doesn't exactly know that it's me he likes, but we're gonna dance at the ball. That's something. Jeff, you know that daddy is going to make you dance with Princess Esmeralda all night? That's who Jeff is supposed to marry. They've been promised to each other for years. Wait, what? But that's not how this is supposed to go. The Sea King and all the Little Mermaid sisters were looking all over for her. Hi, excuse me, your highness. I uh, might know where your daughter is, maybe. You do? Where? Well, she's been very interested in humans the last couple days. And? Um... Speak, Dolphin! Speak! I think maybe she found a way to go on land, your majesty, <laughs> sir. But there's no way she could get onto land. Unless... La 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 Ziddy dee 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 Doo doo ba 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 Yes, who is it? Uh-oh! Where's my daughter? Who? My daughter! Oh, right! 
Wait, her. She's up there with the humans. She thinks she's in love. <laughs> with a human? We made a deal and the spell's been cast. I can't interfere. Anyway, I'm busy recording my album. I'm calling it Witch's Group. It's jazz. You have until tonight to bring her home or else. The Sea King was so angry that he threw the Sea Witch in jail. You're making a huge mistake. What if you could have my palace? Say what now? You send me to land as a human. And if I can't get my daughter back, you win. You get my kingdom. Now that's interesting. Wait, your majesty, the mermaid really, really, really likes the prince. What if she doesn't want to come back with you? Well, you'll have to help me convince her. Me? Uh, and what happens to us if we fail? If you fail, you turn into a jellyfish, and I will have everything. And if we succeed? You won't. <laughs> Deal. Oy vey. It's finally time for the royal ball. Here ye, here ye, please make way for the lovely Princess Esmeralda! Whoa, we have legs! This is cool! I don't like it! These are feet! They're totally weird! They're not so bad. Look, I can jump! <laughs> oh, that's kind of neat. Dolphin the Sea King, I mean Prince Dolphery and the King of Sea Town, had just arrived and everyone was very happy to welcome the new guests to the Royal Ball. The Little Mermaid, of course, was a little suspicious. Right? I mean, why are they here? Excuse me, I have an announcement. Oh no. I just wanted to say it's so refreshing to see how nice you are to this mermaid. Mermaid? Mermaid? Who's a mermaid? Where? She's a mermaid and the sea witch gave her feet. The sea witch? This guy's hilarious. I mean, <laughs> right? Who ever heard of a sea witch? <laughs> oh no. What's the matter, dear? Cheer up. It's a party, right, Prince Jeff? Wait a second, your voice. You sound so familiar. Darling, don't you remember me? I rescued you. But you're not a mermaid. No, sweetie, I'm not, but... You fell in love with me, remember? I remember now. And you said we were to be married, remember that? That's right. Excellent. Let's all just forget about all that silly nonsense about mermaids and sea witches, okay? Okay. Great! All right, who's ready for a royal wedding? Cool. Sounds great. Mazel tov. Oh no! Everyone was hypnotized by the evil sea witch's spell. Well, everyone except for me, Dolph, and my dad. I guess this spell only worked on real humans. Operation Defeat the Evil Sea Witch Part 1. He may have had human legs, but my dad was still the almighty sea king. And that meant he could summon an army of the toughest sea creatures to help us. <gasps> Is this thing on? <gasps> uh, what's up, your majesty? I need you to gather all your friends. I'm so excited to marry my true love. Poor guy, he doesn't know what he's saying. Hey, let me out. I have to get married to my lovely bride. Oh, okay, I hope Dolph and my dad are ready. What do you think you're doing, you urchin? I've decided I can't wait to marry the prince. He's just so dreamy. Out of my way, shrimp. She looks mad. My darling, let's go get married. Okay, my love. Things are getting a little too real. Where's Dolph and my dad? E -e 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 -e. They're here! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Let's go! Start the wedding! We're gathered today. <laughs> Whoa! To join this. Whoa! Skip to the end. Do you. Wait. What's your name? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Keep going. Do you? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Keep going. Take this man, Prince Jeff, to be. I do. Prince Jeff, do you? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Don't worry, we got this. You, you're doing this. I was gonna play fair, but I changed my mind. You'll have to go through me first. No problem. Ah! 
Mmm, tastes like chicken. Uh, what happened? The evil sea witch's spell is broken. Hey, that guy has a tail. Uh-oh. What's going on? Really long story. Hey, talking dolphin. Uh, I should go. And look, she's a mermaid. Uh, uh-oh. Wait a minute, it's you. It is. <laughs> you can talk. I can. <laughs> and you're a real mermaid. Yeah. Very cool. Jeff, are you okay? Absolutely. I told you mermaids were real.